Hi, I'm Lee. Welcome to another Gaddis Gaming How to Play. In this tutorial, we'll talk about vehicles. As you know, Shattered Crown is a random activation system. So when your chit is pulled to activate, you can activate any unit. And for the purpose of this demo, we'll talk about activating a vehicle. So I've pulled for the British. I'm going to take their Tesla tank. The Mark IV Tesla tank has some very interesting qualities to it. Number one, it has an armor class of five. It also has two XT Tesla cannons with a range of 32. They do three dice of damage against infantry and three dice of damage against vehicles. They also have the ability to do arcing fire. Arcing fire is what happens when you roll tens on your to hit rolls. So I would roll three dice and on a 10, I would, I would be able to roll again. So I got one hit off of those three, but because I rolled a 10 and my unit has the ability to do arcing fire, I would be able to re-roll it. But alas, not. It failed me. So I got one hit. So if I were firing, let's say against the German A7V death ray tank, he would get a saving throw based on his armor. His armor is a four plus. So on a four plus, he saves against my hit. And he rolled a four. So he saved, his armor saved him. But let's say he didn't. Let's say he rolled a two and it hit. I would then roll on the damage chart, page 12 of the Shattered Crown rule book. And I rolled a seven. Because I rolled a seven, he becomes ineffective with one of his weapons. One of his weapons becomes destroyed. So we have tokens to represent guns knocked out. So the player would then get to choose, the owning player would then get to choose what weapon he has knocked out. Luckily for the German player, the A7V is bristling with weapons. It has his death ray cannon mounted forward two medium machine guns on either side and two rear facing medium machine guns. So he could take hits like that all day long. Also, each vehicle has its own movement chart. Tracked and half tracked vehicle like the tank, like the Tesla tank and the A7V, they both have nine and 18. That means that they can move nine inches and fire or 18 inches for a full movement to take an objective or to get into cover. If I have a wheeled vehicle, like this Rolls-Royce armored car, it has an effective range of 24. That means it can move 12 inches in fire or move 24 inches to take an objective or to move into cover. Infantry all have 12 movement, six inches to fire, 12 inches full movement or to move into cover. There's also a special unit called the Armored Battle Suit. And the Armored Battle Suit has a heavy armor, like a vehicle. It takes suppression, like infantry, but it also has a movement of 12, like infantry. So, the special ability of the Battle Suit is that it doesn't have any long range weapons, but when it moves into close combat, with a vehicle, it uses its powerful fists to punch the vehicle. And it has a special ability that on its first attack, it gets to attack with three dice because it's charged in. So I'd roll three dice to hit. It's a veteran unit. It needs five or better. That gives me three hits right there. So the opposing player would then have to roll three dice to save. If I'm punching the A7, uh, the Tesla tank, the Tesla tank's armor is five plus. So on a five or better, I save. I saved one, two hits goes through. Then I would again consult the damage chart in my rule book and I would roll off 
against the damage, rolling one dice at a time. So, if I was taking damage, I would roll my first damage hit would be a nine. That would destroy the vehicle and I wouldn't need to roll the other two hits. That's how vehicle, armor, movement, and the damage table work using the guard system. If you want to know more about the General Assembly Universal Rules Data System, we're scattered around the web. You can find us on Facebook at the General Assembly Rules Data System if you want to know more about the rules and get it while it's still in beta and download and run through it. We also have Shattered Crown on Facebook if you want to know more about the Shattered Crown universe. You can also find us on Google Plus under Shattered Crown. You can also tweet us on Twitter at Mini War Room. And you can also subscribe to this YouTube channel if you want to see more videos like this.